listen to a young girl who was saying that the Arab community here is totally very angry. So be very interested in this point at all. Yes, I want to much meaning and riches to offer humankind. You know, after some of these earthly adventures and no more, one can still find footprints of these red lights on the pavements of our contemporary lives. Good evening, you're welcome to the program Green Planet. And these are elephant grass that we planted in bags at the African Center for Community and Development. We shall be harvesting them to feed rabbits. Supplementing rabbit feed with elephant grass is very vital in Cameroon as industrialized feed is very expensive and many people find it difficult to afford. Hence, this retards the vulgarization of the farming of rabbits. So from here, we will be taking the harvested elephant grass to the rabbits as they like it. And we also use this elephant grass in the feeding of goats and pigs at the African Center for Community and Development. I want to one. Yeah, yeah, leave the way go down. So it is bit, being caught in a process that we can always come back and cut more when this is replenished. So the elephant grass is being caught in a shape that is going to be easier for the rabbits to to cut there we go there is a rabbit that has already apprehended that elephant grass is on the way meanwhile as we feed some goats try to steal the shoe Yes, it will be coming after the rabbits are fed. So the ghosts are distracted so that Mr. Ayo can concentrate and the feeding of more rabbits. Elephant grass is a supplement to the other feed base that we have, the grains we've mixed for the rabbits. We usually do this with the leaves from the potato plant, which is also a delicacy amongst these very beautiful creatures from the bowels of nature. There we go. Fish 
spike cage. And this is a mill, very proud mill. It now has its own mill of elephant grass. And the mountain begins. Much has not been done to increase acreage of elephant grass in many places where it grows naturally in Africa. It is hoped that futuristic farming in Africa will target such processes that will lead to its usage in the wider sector of society. Cultivating the grass is very vital in agriculture. Developing systems that will make it to grow all year round will be, a, will be a bonus. As it can be used not only for the feeding of rabbits, it can be used in the feeding of king rats, of goats, of pigs, and it's eaten even by some communities like in the northwest region of Cameroon and other parts of Africa. The balanced diet is very useful for animals. Every animal in captivity needs to be fed well, so it has a balanced diet that can help to make it to be resilient to diseases, to have the necessary micronutrients for its own survival. And now, we add this on the buffet table of the rabbit. Mr. Uh, elephant grass is very important and we grow it at the African Center for Community. Why is it so important? It's very important because it affects the nutrition of animals. They have weight, they have the refresh of the peau, and it charges a lot of maladies that can attain them, or not, or not, or not. He says that elephant grass is nutritious and also is believed to have some medicinal properties, and therefore, it is good in the feeding of animals as both food and medicine. Même les, les gens du Bamenda où je connais comme Andou ou euh, les gens du Bangso, c'est un con à Bamenda et les Bamenda. Ils, ils, prennent, ils prennent ça pour faire la sauce. He says that certain tribes like in the northwest region, among the Nso people and certain tribes of the Bamenda land use this in the cooking of sauces, including I think, the achu soup. Pour faire l'achu, ils utilisent ça pour faire la chose d'achu. Donc, ça pour comment c'est très important dans la communauté so des Africains. So, justifies the importance of elephant grass as a feed base and also as a product which is vital in African communities.
So, elephant grass is very important in the dietary preferences of rabbits that we grow at the African Center for Community and Development. We grow them in bags to demonstrate the fact that it can be done in urban areas as well as for those who do not have um, land. And we think it's very vital if we are supposed to vulgarize its usage among society and as a tool to fight poverty in Africa and in Cameroon. It has been a revival for people, places and events. Thank you very much for watching. interested in this point at more than so.